Okay, so we have a Volvo XC90 2006 model losing some uh, coolant. Um, a little bit low level right here, but uh, I keep getting a message on the dash that says stop the car safely and add coolant. So we went to O'Reilly Auto Parts and we uh, rent, rented a coolant system pressure tester. It costs $202 to rent, but you take it back within 48 hours and you get all your money back. If you're automotively challenged like myself, this will be a video to help you with that. If we have the right adapter. Yeah. Uh-oh. Don't appear that we do. You think that's for American cars? Not I, I'm not sure. It, it's all they had. No, it appears we don't have the right adapter. We'll have to get creative. Okay, we couldn't find any parts to fit, so we had to get creative. We took the hose off right here and put the pressure tool directly up to it. So we're going to see if that works. Uh, well, the leak's pretty hard, difficult to find so far. Is that working? So what does that tell you? It's got a lot of pressure on it. Okay. So if it has a bad leak, couldn't it be losing pressure? Yeah, it's got 25 pounds on it. So it should, should be coming out somewhere. You see it dripping? Yes. Yep, there's the drip. So it's got pressure, it's losing coolant. Never get under the car without a jack stand. Are you able to see anything? I'm not. I see it on the outside over here. I don't know what it is. I don't believe that's the water pump. You don't think it is? No, not yet. Hmm. Hear, hear a noise from back there. See it leaking right there? Right around the gasket. Yeah, see, see it coming out right here. Right here. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of spewing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see it. I follow you. Okay, easy. Well, it's not easy finding that gasket. It's uh, probably what you get online on your deal and look for a, if that's what it is. Thermostat, probably the thermostat gasket. All right, so we heard the noise from the gasket. Now you're Removing it. Yeah. So we just need to replace this. Yes. Okay. And it attaches right here. So you see, it's kind of worn out about right there. So here it is uh, on another website. It's a thermostat facet uh, gasket. Hopefully we don't have to replace the whole facet and just get a gasket. We'll see. First you start off with some uh, gasket material that's made especially for water. Bought it at uh, AutoZone for seven dollars. You cut a piece big enough to cover the entire gasket. Okay. Luckily, this was a metal gasket, so remaking it's not too bad. So we're taking a, on a wood bench, taking flatten this out a little bit. Take and put the gasket on here, and drill a hole. Yep. Take the drill bit out. You got a bolted work just as well. 
take it clean up a little bit. Use that polar gasket in place. Get another drill bit about the same size. That'll work. Use the same drill bit in the hole. Cut away what you don't need. Real sharp knife. A lot of pressure. So where'd you buy this uh, gasket at, uh, stuff? At uh, AutoZone. AutoZone. Costs like seven bucks. You just cut away. Watch your fingers. You just kind of trace around the old gasket. Yes. No, no, don't have to be perfect, just close. Perfect comes, you want to be real close on the inside. Make sure it interferes with anything. So the reason why we're making this gasket is because uh, they don't just sell this gasket for the, the uh, thermostat. They make you have to buy the whole thermostat piece just for the gasket. Which is ridiculous. So instead of spending over a hundred bucks, you spend seven bucks. And you just get the inside. Mm -hmm. And it don't cut your thumb. Yeah. This gasket material doesn't have metal in it like the old gasket does. Does that matter? No, I don't think so. Not, no. This is made specifically for ha or for housings. Let's see, there's a piece of paper here for sealing water and coolant. Okay. Water pump, water inlet, water bypass, water outlet. Okay, perfect. It's, made out, it's got rubber and cellulose in it, which is cellulose is wood. Okay. And take the drill bits out. All right, so now you got a clone of the old one. And then you can kind of finish cutting it out from the back. Okay, so this material's not rubber or not r real rubbery, it's kind of got a hardness like cardboard yeah. to it. But it's got, evidently it's got rubber in it. I've never used yeah. any before. But I, you can, there's probably other material out there that's better or just as good. But it's thicker, thicker and harder than it looks. Using the drill bits to hold it in place and you you're you got a good alignment. You could, then you can take and just, I'm not going to finish the gasket, this is the second gasket we made. But you just clean it up, go around with a nice sharp knife, clean it up, or okay. put it back down on the floor. Down on the ground. That's all there is to it. So you just kind of finish and clean it up and then put it on like where the old one went, and yeah. that's it. You bet. And on a Volvo, on a Volvo you have to, I had to put the thermostat in in two pieces, the base and then, then the top. It wouldn't, go in, wouldn't get past it otherwise. You made a gasket yourself? Yeah. You can see the blue around the... There, that's the gasket. Okay. They don't sell that. gasket's holding. Bailey adds some water. Yeah, I was like, right. 
that factory. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.